Hey guys, it's June from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a flat design in Illustrator. So you can use this method to create a flat character. If that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching this video. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create a flat character design in Illustrator using the most basic tools like the ellipse tool and the rectangle. And obviously, if you want to create something a little bit fancier, you should use the pen tool and brushes as well. I'm going to show Show you the step by step on how to create a flat character. First of all, it's a good idea to have your color selected, uh, what kind of color you want to apply for your flat character design. I'm using the very traditional two colors like pink and black and I want to use yellow as the, the clothes color maybe. Well, let's see. Maybe I'll be changing it a little bit throughout the tutorial. Alright, so let's grab the basic shape tool. Um, we can create a face first if you want to use layers uh, yeah go ahead and create a new layer so go to a uh, window layers and open the layers panel um, okay I'm going to create a layer for the face face and now I'm going to select the ellipse tool it has a color selected already well, that's not the color I want for the face. Uh, actually, I want to use pink for the face. Yeah, it's up to you what kind of face, like the shape of the face is really up to you. You can create a circle or you can also uh, use a rectangle. And usually here, obviously, we want the face to be like an actual face. I mean, you can have a square face as well, but I prefer like a rounded face. So uh, if you want to do that, you can use the direct selection tool, keyboard shortcut A, select and hold the shift key and uh, drag this to make a face like that. Well, that's much better. So it's really up to you how the shape of the face. It doesn't matter too much the top part since we will be adding hair to it. All right, so let's go with this one. I guess the rounded face is a little bit too cute maybe. I'm going to show you the example with this shape. So that's basically the face already. Well, actually, I should name the layer like uh, with color. In this case, I can edit them easier. And now uh, I'm going to add the ears to it. Um, you can use a pen tool or I mean, the easiest way is using the ellipse tool and just make something like that. Make a copy, hold the option and shift. And you can drag to make something like that. Or if you want it to be a little bit out really up to you to adjust the position and now let's create a neck area well you can use the rectangle tool if you don't want to use a pen tool or you're not familiar with the pen tool if you do want to use a pen tool i do have a tutorial uh, showing you how to use a pen tool in illustrator so i'll have the link in the description below feel free to check that out if you want you can also use the pen tool using the keyboard shortcut p and uh, yeah, make a neck, maybe a little bit like more abstract. It's really up to you, however you want. If you want, you can also combine the shape using the Pathfinder tool. When you have the object selected, you will see the Pathfinder tool under the properties panel and you can click Unite to unite the shape. Something like that. Okay, and the next thing I want to draw is the hair. I would say that that's the hardest part. Um, yeah, let's create a new layer, hair. Let me zoom in. So make sure that you are on the hair layer. And uh, yeah, in this case, it's really up to you. I mean, the easiest way to create hair if you are designing a boy character, I would say the easiest way is to just use a rectangle. Let me show you how it works. You can make a hairstyle like this. Select the direct selection tool and see what I'm doing. Yeah and then make the hairstyle like this. Kind of just adjust the edges a little bit so it doesn't look like super awkward. Yeah, that's a hairstyle. You can change the color to, well, black or blonde. It's up to you. So select the eyedropper tool and uh, sample one of the color. Yeah, it can be blonde. It's really up to you. Oh, I'm just going to use black. And there you go. If that's what you want, you can make the hair like that. But I'm going to show you something different. 
um, a little bit more challenging. Let's use a pen tool to make the hair. So delete this and select the pen tool using the shortcut P. And I'm going to start drawing. Actually, you don't have to you don't have to make like a perfect hair. Let me just randomly draw it like this and I'm going to use the smooth tool definitely to uh, smooth the lines here. Well, with that selected smooth tool and smooth it a little bit. Well, actually, you should send it to back. So right click, arrange and uh, send to back. Yeah, so you will see a hair like that. Well, and as you can see here, it's missing something. So above the pink layer, I'm going to add another layer um, and I'm going to name it like hair front so that uh, it doesn't look like bold here. Same thing, just use a pen tool to draw like, well, randomly draw like a shape that you want the hair to be. An easiest way is just to use a lips tool and create something like that, you will see. And select both and hit unite. Yeah, that's not so bad. I mean, you can always use direct selection to edit it a little bit so maybe it can be a little bit more natural. Okay, the next thing that we are going to make is the face. I'm going to add the eyebrows and the, the eyes, let's say. Facial, I'm going to name it like facial features. All right, so there are many ways to do it. You can simply use a line tool or you can use a brush and uh, hold the shift key. I mean, depending on how you want the eyebrow to be, you can hold the shift key and just uh, click and drag to make an eyebrow like that and select it and make a copy and move it to the left. Well, definitely you can adjust a little bit the angle as well, maybe. I mean, and then you can use the ellipse tool to draw the eyes. Definitely I'm going to change the color to black. Select that. Well, let me just zoom in real quick. If you want to add some eyelashes, feel free to do so as well. Something like that. It's pretty cute. All right, and now you can use the brush tool again to draw the nose. Yeah, for character design, you really don't have to make it like super detailed, something like that is more than okay. Well, a smiley face. Or you can draw some lips as well. It's really up to you. I will just keep it like this just to begin with. And uh, for the ear area, I would also add a little bit more detail like that so that it looks like the ear. And if you want to add any earrings, feel free to do so, but I'm just going to keep it like this for now. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the face. I mean, you can always add more details to it if you want to add yeah, any piercings or anything, but let's just keep it like this. And I'm going to create the body part. Again, I'm going to use a very basic shape, a rectangle. I'm just going to draw the body. Well, that's too long. Let me move it down here. And obviously we can adjust the shoulder area. So um, switch back to the direct selection tool using the shortcut A. Hold the shift key and select this one and this one, these two points and drag them until you get like a shoulder or something like that. Forget about like the ratio or anything because when you create a flat design, it's supposed to be super abstract. And now let's see. And now let's add some clothes to the lady. Yeah, above the pink layer, I'm going to add another layer dress and select the rectangle tool, which I already selected. I know that looks pretty basic. Let's add a little bit more element to it to make it more fun. Again, we can just use an easy shape like circles. I'm going to create circle here and make a copy like this. And you can use a step and repeat shortcut, which is Command and D or Control and D if you're using uh, Windows to add some detail to her clothes. See, that looks pretty, really good. And uh, I'm going to select all of these, holding the Shift key, select all of these and the dress. Again, I'm going to hit the Unite key to 
combine the shapes. So see, she got a dress. And in this part, it looks like super straight. I mean, she has some arms, right? Uh, we can do that, but we can add a little bit of curve to that using the curve tool. So select the curve tool, curvature tool, I mean. And you can click here and here to add a little bit curve to that. So obviously what is missing is a little bit of uh, details on the dress. Maybe you can use more circles like dotted, um, maybe white. I know something is missing, her arms, right? So uh, again, you can use the brush tool. Well, here you can add a layer or not. Um, just use a brush tool and uh, more or less draw her arm area. I'm going to change it to black. And again, draw another one for this part. That's pretty much it for a very basic flat character design. If you want to add more details, as I said earlier, you can then probably add more shadows to it uh, using the pen tool if you want. Add a little bit of shadow, something like that. You can choose pink. And usually that's what I do. Uh, you will have the color guide here when, when you have a color selected. You can choose any of the shades here, that's a trick, um, and to add the shadows. Or for the clothes, if you want to add any shadow as well. All right, that's it. That's how you can create a flat character design in Illustrator. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future tutorials.